In this video, let's take our Google Sheets macros and make them more dynamic and interesting using ChatGPT. So in this example, I have some of this data. So let's say there are certain things you want done with this. Maybe add some colors, some borders, add a formula or something, whatever steps it may be. So what I'll do, I'll create a macro that does certain things with this data. So I'll go to extensions, macros, and we're gonna go record macro. So now it's recording. So what I'll do, I'll start by adding a column. I'll call this area code. I'll make that bold. I'm gonna add a formula here. I'll add a left function. I'll point to this phone number, comma, and we'll get the first three characters out of it, like so. Auto fill, fine, I'll do that. Then I'm going to select these columns and double click up here to automatically fit those columns. I'll add some background colors here. So I'll select these and do a background color for our headers. And I'll use text color too, font color. Finally, I'm going to select this data. We could have used the shortcut here, but here I'm just gonna go simple, select this data like this. And I'll go up here and add a border. And then finally, I'll just click up here. And let's say these are the steps I need done. So I'm gonna save this macro. Give this some name. I don't have a particular name for this, so I'll just call it macro one. Hit save. And we have our macro that does all the steps. So now I should be able to use this on a similar data. So if I go, for example, to this tab called July, has the same structure, but it doesn't have as many rows. So if I go up here and run this, so I'm gonna go to extensions, macros and click on that macro. So it says macro one. Now, if you have never ran macros before this, it may ask you to give permissions once you run this and you're gonna have to do that. You can see I did run macros on this file before, so it has permissions, it's gonna run this. You can see it did the same thing. So it has the area codes, the background colors, it has the font color, it has the borders, except that our borders went way too far and our formulas too, if you look here, went way too far because it doesn't understand that this sheet has less lines. Basically just replicates the exact same thing I did here on this March tab. So let's try to make this macro better by getting it to go to the last line here. So I'll go to extensions and I'll go app script. And here on the left, we have our macros section and here's that macro. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this code and I'll go to chat GPT and I'm gonna add a prompt. So I'll just do this. This macro doesn't work on sheet with less or more records. So this is Google Sheet macro, update to work with as many records as the worksheet has. And I'll just paste the code that we have generated from our recorded macro. And let's get a result. So as you can see, it's adding this last row reference, which it gets over here. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this, go to my script and I'll just replace this script. You wanna make sure if there are other scripts, you don't touch those, just the script starts here, ends here, as you can see. I'm gonna paste that new script and I'll go back and try to run this. So let's try this on this June worksheet. I'll go extensions, macros, Here's that macro one, I'll run this. 
So it seems like it worked with colors, backgrounds, borders, but something happened with this left function. So let's do a follow-up. So we'll just say the part with left function doesn't copy for the whole column with this update. So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to copy this. We'll go back and replace our macro code with the new code. Save this. And I'm going to go back and open another sheet. Let's do this one so we can see the end. And run this macro, macro one. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that seems to work. We have our new column. If we check here, see there's no formula here. That's good. We have our last line. Everything seems accurate. So I'm going to undo a couple of steps here with this macro so we get to our previous data with no changes. Command Z or Control Z a whole bunch of times. Now I'm back to my data as it was before. So let's try to just run this quickly. This is our first sheet. This is where I did this to begin with. So I'm going to run this macros macro one. Let's just verify that this works. So I'll do control down or command down. Good. It's here. That seems to get the right data. And then if I go to, let's say July, run the same exact macro. That seems to also work. There is no formula here. We have our data with borders and everything. I'm going to do command Z. So this now took care of that getting to the last line part. Now let's try to make this even more interesting. What if we want this macro to run through all the sheets instead of us running it on every sheet separately? So I'll copy that code that does what I needed to do. I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll add a prompt. So I'll just say I need this macro to run on every sheet in the Google Sheet file I have. And I'll just copy paste our macro code that currently does what it needs to do and run this. So it did add a for each loop. That's a good sign. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going to copy this. Actually, let's click on this copy button. I'll go back here and I'll just replace this macro with this. That's our update. I'll go back to this. I want to make sure we go back to where there is no extra columns and that's good. It's clean. Let's run this. So I'm going to go extensions, macros, macro one. So it says finished. Let's check the other sheets. So it seems okay on this one here. Let's just double check and make sure we get the last line. Yep. That's good here. Good here. Good here. Good. So here it is. So we got our macro that we recorded, took it and we got chat GPT to update it for us to have more dynamic, flexible, macro that does all of those things and it does it on all sheets with a single run instead of running it every single time. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.